Hello everyone, it's me again, Dr. Babatunde Okewale. Today I'll be talking about tubal patency test. Tubal patency test is usually done when you suspect tubal blockage. Tubal blockage is one of the causes of infertility. I'll quickly run through how to get pregnant again, naturally. There are basically five requirements. The first requirement is the sperm of the man must be of good quality and it must also be of good quantity. The second requirement is the woman herself must know her fertile period. She must know when she's ovulating. Because it's only at that time that if a woman and a man mix love, the pregnancy can occur. The third requirement is the inside of the womb must be able to accept and keep a pregnancy. The fourth requirement is the, the tube. tubes must be open so that the eggs and the sperm can meet. And finally, the woman must be producing quality eggs. So those are the requirements. Whenever you're doing investigation for infertile couples, you try and check those five requirements. And so we're focusing on the tubes today. The kind of test we do for the tubes is called tubal patency test. A healthy tube is very important for pregnancy because it is inside the tube that fertilization occurs. The sperm travels through the cervix, through the inside of the womb, and gets inside the tube. The egg of the woman travels from the ovary and enters also inside the tube, and fertilization occurs there. There are various types of tuber blockage. A tuber blockage could be complete in which case the sperm and the egg cannot meet and pregnancy cannot occur. Sometimes it is partial blockage, in which case fertilization might occur, but the embryos might not be able to get inside the womb, resulting in ectopic pregnancy. Now, what causes tuber blockage? Tuber blockage could occur because of infection inside the tube which is usually due to sexually transmitted diseases, or it could be due to infection outside the tube, which could be due to some other infections like a ruptured appendix. 25% of infertilities are caused by tuber blockage. Now we'll go to the investigations. One of the commonest investigations for tuber patency is a procedure called H. SG, hysterosarpingogram. It is an investigation of the inside of the womb and the fallopian tubes. It causes moderate discomfort and it is an alternative to laparoscopy. Now, when you do HSG, what we do is we put in a tiny tube at the tip of the cervix and a contrast dye is pushed inside the womb. As that dye is going through the womb and through the tubes, X-ray shots are taken to try and see the part of the dye. If there is a blockage, it is obvious. The advantage of an HSG is it confirms where a tuber blockage is, whether it's at the corner end or in the middle portion of the tube or at the fimbrial end of the tube. HSG also tells you a little bit about the happenings inside the womb. Sometimes it detects abnormalities inside the womb. If there's a fibroid inside the womb, it gives a clue to it. If there are congenital abnormalities inside the womb, it also gives a clue onto that. The other way of checking to know whether the tubes are patent is a procedure called laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is done under a general anesthesia. And what we use is a tiny telescope called a laparoscope. The way this is done is, while the woman is under anesthesia, a small incision 
is made at around the umbilical region. And this small telescope is put inside the tummy after it has been filled with carbon dioxide. It gives a very good view of the inside of the tummy. The advantage of a laparoscope is it can see the womb, it can see the tubes, it can see the ovaries, it can see other things happening in the pelvis region like endometriosis. And when we want to check for the tubal patency, if a dye is pushed in through the womb, you can see it flow through the tubes. A third way of checking for tubal patency is through a procedure called sonohysterogram. Sonohysterogram sees more about what is happening inside the womb rather than what's happening in the tube. But sometimes it gives a good clue. If a sonohysterogram is done and the fluid goes through and you see fluid in the pouch of Douglas, it gives a good sense of whether the tube is open or not. Sonohysterogram is usually done by normal saline and sometimes it's done with a contrast media. Those are some of the ways of checking out for tubal patency. Thank you for listening. To know more about tubal patency, I'm grateful if you can read my book. This book is available on Amazon. But you can also get it by sending us a DM on all our social media pages. Thank you again. God bless.